Hey there, Sales Funnel Nerd here, and welcome to this video today. We're going to talk about how to sell physical products with ClickFunnels. So in this video, we're going to talk about what you need in order to pull this off. We're going to talk about how to make it all work. I'm going to show you an example of a physical product funnel, and I'm going to show you how, I'm going to show you some ways that you can adapt it and change it up for yourself, and I'm going to give you some stuff that should give you some, some awesome ideas. So if that sounds good, let's jump right into it. So let's talk about what you need here. So a quick breakdown on this is the five things you need in order to do this is you need some type of offer stuff to fill up your funnel, what you're going to put into this physical product funnel. You need some type of funnel map. You need funnel pages and some follow-up emails. And you're also going to need some type of automation, a way to make this all work without you, without it relying on you, essentially, to make it all happen. The last thing that you're going to need is some type of transubstantiation of your free gift. Now, I know that's a big word, and it's really fun to say, and I'm going to explain what that means so that you have a complete understanding of it uh, as we get into this here. So let's take a first look at the first thing here. And the first thing is you need offers. You need things in your funnel. When I show you an example of the funnel, you'll see what I mean as far as how many offers you should need based on your own personal kind of setup, uh, funnel that you're going to have in place. But you need to have some type of offer. So what you want to do is when you're coming up with your offers, you want to need to make sure that it's new and it's irresistible by sitting down and brainstorming uh, offers that you can come up with and the way to do this is to aim for being over the top because it's easier to go and kind of tone down your offer because you look and you say okay we just actually cannot physically fulfill this uh, for whatever reason and then tone it down from there but always start and just throw out ideas brainstorm and like I say go big and then bring it back down so the next thing you need is some type of funnel map. Now, I don't care if it's on a whiteboard, blueprint style, like I like here, uh, PowerPoint, whatever you want to do, ha however you want to have it drawn out and mapped out, uh, just if for, for ease more than anything. Because if you got some type of team and you can say, hey, Joe, there's a problem with upsell number two here. I don't know what's going on. They know exactly what you're talking about uh, because there's a map. They know what, they, know, what, know what it looks like. Next thing you need is your funnel pages and emails. So this is like the structure itself here, right? Think of it like building a high-rise building. It's, you know, it's this is the where you go from having it all down on a document to building a structure in real world and making this thing happen. So that's the actual the the, the funnel itself. This is the nuts and bolts of it. This is the funnel pages and the emails. Next thing you need is some automation. So this is to make sure that people get the right messages, whether it's in regards to fulfillment or emails notifying somebody about a sale that's happened, uh, follow-up sequences, surveys afterwards to get testimonials. Uh, this is really easy to deal with as far as the actual fulfillment side because like, once they buy, you're going to get all the information you need to actually mail to them. As well, you'll have their email address in case there's any problems or something or you need to contact them. And the great thing is because you have their physical address, you can send them physical mail in the future because everyone gets a ton of email. It's not exactly very unique, but when you go and actually get your mail, you know, there isn't a lot of physical pieces of mail that you get on a typical day. And if would you rather show up, you know, in a, in a contest against 140 people or a contest against six people, right? So that's the great thing about physical. So the next thing, last thing we need here is some type of transubstantiation. So here's an example of it. I've got a couple examples for you just so you can wrap your brain around this. And it's really see easy once you actually see it in action. So here we see this here is a, at its core, what it is, is a financial newsletter, an offer for, to get a subscription to a financial newsletter. But if you open a letter and said, hey, Joe, buy this financial newsletter. It's really good for you. It'll make you money. Uh, it's not very enticing. It's probably not going to get too far uh, in the door. So by changing it up and turning it into an invitation to an elite club of money makers who are, you know, extending this opportunity one time to you to be privy of that, you know, that's that's something different, something, you know, something new, something different and uh, 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 an example of transubstantiation here. So I've got one more. No, actually, I lied. I got two more. So here you think something as commonplace and as, you know, kind of boring as, uh, as average old sunglasses. Well, these aren't just sunglasses. This is an eyewear protection system with light amplification and magnification enhancement technology. Now, that was fun to write out, but not really fun to say. So you can see, though, if you have this sitting beside just another set of sunglasses on a rack with nothing attached to it, no description, nothing setting it apart and making it different, uh, which one are you going to go with? Are you going to go with just the plain Jane sunglasses or the eyewear protection system, right? Changing it up. 
So you've probably heard of this book, The 4-Hour Work Week. Now, this book at its core, it's about essentially outsourcing and, you know, kind of getting hands off with your business. But uh, the way that it's styled here is that it's about the four hour work week lifestyle, right? Uh, it, it, a book called How to Outsource, uh, it's probably going to get some sales, but nowhere near. It doesn't have the same kind of um, um, effect as this. And the reason why is that if you have something called, you know, How, how to Outsource, right? How many people are going to go whip out their wallet and buy that when they can just go, hmm, how to outsource, open a new tab, Google that, and then boom, they've, you know, they've left your message here. So that's the power, and that's the reason why you want to use some type of transubstantiation. So here we'll look at uh, kind of a sample funnel. Now I'm going to have a link uh, down below here so that you can check it out, uh, and you can see an actual version of mine if you want to see what this looks like in action as far as all these pieces here. But we'll run through this so you can see as far as kind of a rudimentary funnel map here. So the first page that they're going to land on here is going to be the physical product page. Whether I send out an email, hey, check this out, people go. When they land on this page, there's going to be the offer to get this free gift. Now, it's I call it free. It's free plus shipping. I'll send it to you. You can have this thing for free. You just got to cover the shipping, and I'll send it your way. When you set up the actual cost of this, so the nice thing about this is when you set this up, you can actually go do a little bit of testing in advance uh, to go to like the uh, website for the postal service and see about how much the shipping will cost. Essentially, that's all you want to do is just charge them whatever the shipping is going to cost to send out this physical product. Now, the beauty of this is on the actual physical product page is you can set up what's called an order bump. So some type of option where if they check a box, there's an additional... Uh, uh, option to purchase uh, right at that point, whether it's, hey, do you want to take this physical product and, you know, include the limited time warranty or the extended warranty, or uh, there's lots of different options for the order bump. Uh, on my page, I gave the option to go to digital. Hey, I'm going to send you this physical thing, but if you want to go to digital, uh, just click this button here to get the upgraded version and you get access to a members only website. Right, so you want to make sure that you have some type of order bump on the actual product page. Now, after the first purchase is made, it put in their info, whether or not they took advantage of the order bump, then the next thing in line is going to be some type of upsell. Now, whether or not you have one upsell or two upsells, it's kind of a few. Some people have five upsells. Uh, there really is. It's just kind of what you kind of dream up when you're in the offers uh, phase of things, right? Now, for something like, say, vitamins or something, right, or some type of pills, uh, that type of physical product, uh, the upsell can be, hey, get these three bottles at a discounted price. And then the second upsell is, hey, get these six bottles at an upgraded price, right? Something as simple as that. Whereas with mine, I had a kind of uh, a mix here. They're getting a physical product, but they can go and with the upsells, the upsells are digital. Now you could do even more of a mix, right? You could do say physical product, the order bump and the first upsell are all physical. And then the second, uh, the last upsell is, is digital. Lots of ways to kind of mix and match, especially when it comes to uh, doing that inside of ClickFunnels. Now you can see at the end here, I've got a couple different arrows. So uh, you can set up different results depending on what happened here. Now, if someone just strictly takes advantage of just the physical products, uh, we can set up a page where it's like, hey, here's a confirmation message. Here's what's going to happen next. Your thing's going to be sent out. I'm going to send an email once it's in the mail. Um, and then here, if you want to check out this link here, I've got some more awesome free stuff that you can check out while you're waiting. Something like that, right? Simple, uh, simple to set up, but uh, what you want to have um, in place for them, just to kind of let them know what's next. The other option down below, the other arrow points to if they did take advantage of, say, the digital options or any kind of upgrades, then we can set up an alternate path for them there. Uh, and especially with ClickFunnels, we can have it set up so that uh, if they took advantage of a digital product, now they just go register and then they get access to uh, that in a protected website that we set up there. So lots of ways to take this and, you know, change this up to sell whatever type of physical products you want. Um, and the fulfillment part, once you start selling the physical products, uh, you know, the, the fulfillment, that's, that part is easy to, because that problem has been solved by other people. It's all about uh, the first part there, dream up your offers for your audience. So I hope that gives you some ideas that you can take this and ways that you can go and adapt this for yourself. Uh, again, if you want to see kind of an example, you can see a link underneath the video or I'll have something kind of pop up on the screen. And don't forget to click like and subscribe underneath this video. And I will see you in the next one.